Home bakers keen to keep busy and fed during the lockdown have pushed demand for flour up 500% for one producer. Champion Flour has three mills going around the clock to keep up. But don't worry, there's no supply issue and shoppers should see plenty more on the shelves by early next week. Home bakers or supermarket sales usually account for about 6% of their flour, but with many bakeries and cafes closed up, it's the home kitchen crying out for it. I asked Champion Flour Mills CEO Bruce Pedden just how hot demand is. So from our business perspective, we're seeing about a 500% um, uptake in what we're manufacturing, and that doesn't seem or didn't seem to be making a dent in, uh, in availability on the shelves, you know. So um, I'm expecting to see that correct itself. But is that unprecedented as it stands? Absolutely. What's the closest? Um, what's the closest you would have ever come to that? Well, see, that's that's the interesting thing because previously, if there has been an event, let's say, it's always been regionalised. So when we have the Christchurch earthquakes, it was always it was a region, and you've never had that demand pressure put on business like we are here, where we're talking a national or even a global event. Um, so we've never experienced this. So We've experienced it in pockets of our business, but not in our total business. So what do you reckon the deal is, Bruce? Is everyone locked down at home so they want to bake a cake or a loaf of bread? What's the feel you're getting? I think that's exactly what it is. I think that uh, baking people are moving back. The cafes aren't open, the restaurants aren't open. We've got children at home, we're locked down, and we're, and we're looking to, I suppose, reconnect with that home baking, which is wonderful in the long term. Um, it caught us a little bit unaware in the short term. So what sort of extra hours are you having to put in to keep up with that demand until things flatten out a little bit? So previously on our packing lines, um, our retail packing, we would probably run retail packing machines at, at two of our uh, manufacturing sites probably 30 to 35 hours a week. Um, at the moment, we're running both of those machines for 120 hours. So we had, we've gone from a total of 30 to 35 hours to 240 hours of running those machines. Blimey. How long can you keep that up for? Look, what we've seen happen, Lisa, is, is after the lockdown, and there's been a number of businesses that thought that they would be able to open close. So, you know, bakeries, the little hot bread shops on the corner have closed down. Um, the, uh, some of the bigger manufacturers have closed down with the government saying that you can't supply uh, coffee and treats out of the roof. The oil channel, that's closed down. So we're seeing demand on that commercial side decrease. Um, therefore, we, we can continue doing this as long as it takes because uh, we're just moving from our commercial packing lines to our retail packing lines. And it, it's, it's easy. We're running our mills 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The only time we're closing the three, any of our three mills is for pre preventative maintenance. Um, they're ticking away nicely. There's, a, there's an ongoing supply of raw materials. I, I saw an article today or people talking on talk back about um, there's a lack of grain in New Zealand. There's no lack of grain. It's been a very good harvest year. The growers have done a great job. So, Bruce, um, just, but, to, be, just yep. to be clear on that point, you've got raw materials up the wazoo. You can keep going. It's not an issue of supply. It's just keeping up and working out the demand. Absolutely. So for all the home bakers out there, I just want to know, is there, run on a, is there a run on a particular type of flour or they're all in hot demand? I, I think that given the uh, level of availability, it's hot demand right across the whole range. So, um, Bruce, you know, given, yep. the, given the business that you were in, what's your favourite go-to recipe that would involve flour? <laughs> Look, I'm a, uh, unfortunately, I'm a bit of a scone fan, so... Um, oh, there's, there's nothing unfortunate about that, Bruce. Uh, so I, I think the simple baking at home is, is the, you know, going and doing some scones, and whether you're using the high-grade, a standard flour, um, your self-raising, 
or or the Edmund Scon mix. You know, you you're going to get a uh, a very very nice product out of that. Scones take a bit of talent. We have someone in our team who's great at making scones. Others, not so much. It's a gift, isn't it? Most people want to overwork it. That's a good you tip. Know, people, you know, my my experience in scones and um, is is don't overwork it. Chill your water and make sure it goes into a very hot oven. Are you any good with sponges? No. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not. That makes two of us. Hey, Bruce, it has been fantastic to talk to you. Best of luck. We appreciate your efforts. Um, and double thumbs up to all the home bakers then, eh? Exactly. We, we should see that improved supply certainly by next week, um, hopefully by the end of this week. And that's Bruce Pedden of Champion Flour Mills. Now, we have compiled a very small collection of recipes that require no flour. They have been developed especially for you while you wait to replenish your stores. And you can check those recipes out online at rnz.co.nz slash checkpoint. And they'll also be on Checkpoint's Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram pages. Maybe you could send us a picture once you've baked some of them.